Well, good morning and happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Welcome to the Kindergarten Sabbath School class at the Daughter of Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church. My name is Lawana McCoy, and I will be presenting the lesson today. Let's get started with the word of prayer. Good morning, Jesus. Thank you so much for waking us up this morning and for allowing us to see a new day. Please be with us now as we study your word. Open up our minds so that we may understand and so that we may openly receive what you have in store for us. Please bless our families, be with our mommies and our daddies, and Lord, help us to be obedient, help us to understand and to put all that we can in the lesson to draw closer to you. We ask these things in your precious name, amen. All right, so we are going to start with our good morning song, and it goes like this. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say. We're happy, so happy to see you today. All right, and I am very happy to share this lesson with you this morning. It is a very good one. And I want to start with a little game. And a part of my game is having two faces. The first one is a happy face. And the next one is a sad face. So I'm going to ask you about some scenarios to see what kind of face you have as we talk about our lesson today. This is going to be our starter. Okay. So, um, someone wants to take your toy from you. You're out playing with your friends and they want to take your toy. Is that going to be a happy or a sad face? I think you're going to say a sad face because you don't want someone to take your toy away. All right. So what about when a friend shares a piece of fruit with you? Is that going to make you happy or sad? Yes. I believe you are going to say it's going to make you happy when someone shares with you. Well, what about when you go to the playground and there are some big kids on the slides and they won't let you play on them? Hmm. I think you're going to be a little sad about that. What about... You're in your neighborhood playing with your friends and all of a sudden you guys hear the ice cream truck and you go running, running, running and someone pushes you down. Are you going to be happy or sad about that? You're going to be sad because someone pushed you and it wasn't fair. All right, our last scenario. So you've been good, you've been doing well at home with your chores, and you've been getting really good grades in school. So mom says on at the weekend, you can choose any dessert that you want, and you can choose it first. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that you're going to have a happy face. So this reminds me of a story about a young man named Elfie. Elfie was the youngest in his family, and he was the smallest. And every year, he and his family went to the beach, and they had to line up. And when they lined up, his dad would line them up in order based on who was the oldest down to the youngest. And so Elfie got there, and the line was a little long. He said, why do I always have to be last, Dad? Dad said, you know, that's the rule, Elfie. We go in order based on who is the oldest and down to the youngest. So Elfie stood in the back of the line and he was thinking, how can I get to the front of the line? I don't want to be last. I want to be first in line. So his sister was in front of him and he started to turn on some music that really grossed her out. She hated the sound of it and it really made her frightened when he played it. But what he did, he put it near a rock away from him so that she didn't see that it was that he was the one who was playing that 
annoying music that she never liked and was always afraid about. So she ran out of the line and she went and hid. So then when she came back a few minutes later, she just stayed at the back of the line in case she needed to run off again. So then Elfie's two brothers in front of him, they were in front and he wanted to find a way, how can I get in front of them? So he decided to play a prank on them. He decided to throw one of their books that they had on the ground while they were waiting way across the field. And they were in an area where at the beach where there was a field, but on the sandy side, he didn't want them to go that way because it was so many people. So he threw it in the opposite direction. And so his brother said, where is my book? I'm looking for my book. And Elfie said, oh, I think someone took it and they went that way. And he pointed towards the field. So he and his other brother ran and started looking for the book. So Elfie jumped in the line again. So on their way back, the brothers just decided, we'll just stay in the back. You know, it's still a long line and we'll get up there eventually. So Elfie played a trick on his mother to where he said, I think my sister needs help. So she went back to the back of the line where the sister was and she decided to stay with her. And when he got to the father, he had a little feather and he said, I'm going to tickle my dad with this feather. And I know he hates this fuzzy feeling, but his dad did not move. He did it a second time and a third time, but his dad was not startled. So his dad turned to him and he said, Elfie, I know what you're trying to do and it's not going to work. You are not even supposed to be here in the line. You're supposed to be at the back of the line. Well, at that time, when he was about to explain, there was this man in the sauna and he said, I am not getting out of this sauna. It feels great and I'm not moving and I don't care who is in line behind me. And everybody just gasped because they could not believe this man was not going to get out in a reasonable time. And they really wanted to get in the sauna because everybody was just tired and thought this would really help them to feel a lot better. So Elfie decided to take that same feather and he decided to do um, rub it against the man's elbow. The man couldn't turn and see what it was. He thought it was something after him or something biting him. So he jumped out of the sauna and he said, oh, go ahead, I'm not getting back in that sauna. And so as a result, Elfie and his family were all able to get into the sauna one at a time. And his dad did put them back in order from the oldest to the youngest. But after they all enjoyed their time, he said to Elfie in front of the whole family, you know what? You helped us to get to the sauna. And because of that, you've done a good deed. So you get to walk first in the line going back home. Well, boys and girls, it is important to be a leader, but it's also important to know that leaders are not always first. There are leaders who are all also last. Sometimes when we fight to be first, then it messes up our chance to stay first. But when we want to be last, then somehow it will start to work first. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a story in the Bible that's similar to Elfie's story. Jesus had his disciples with him. And one day, two of the disciples, their mother decided to walk up to Jesus and say, hey, can my son sit on either side of you when you go to the kingdom of God? Jesus said, you have no idea what you're asking for. I'm going to suffer many things. I'm going to be persecuted. I'm going to be spat upon. A lot of terrible things are going to happen to me. Are you going to be ready and willing and able to accept that? And the two disciples said, we would. 
but this infuriated the other disciples. They said, how dare you? I've always been there for Jesus, one said. Another said, but Jesus always asks me to do it because I'm responsible. Then another said, well, Jesus likes me best because I'm always there helping him and he doesn't even have to ask me. So they continued to bicker amongst each other. And Jesus finally said, listen, this is not for me to decide. It is for my father in heaven to make that decision. You all are fighting over something that doesn't make a lot of sense. He said, you must understand, in order to be first, you have to serve others first. You have to make sure others are taken care of. If someone is sick, you have to make sure maybe you take food to them or that you are sitting with them if they are not feeling well. If someone doesn't have something to wear, then you give them something to wear. If someone needs prayer, then you go and you help them prayerfully. But Jesus said, this is the way the kingdom of God works. You must serve others first. So be first to serve others, but be last to act. He said, and the way this works is that in, as a result of doing this, then you will be first. So the disciples learned a very valuable lesson, and that points us to our memory verse. Our memory verse says, the last will be first, and the first will be last. This is found in Mark 9.35. Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last. So Jesus wanted people to understand his disciples specifically, you must serve others first. So here's a song in closing to help you to understand what Jesus meant. The song, I Have J-O-Y Joy. The J-O-Y Joy stands for Jesus, others, and yourself. And that's the order in which we should want to be. We should put Jesus first in our lives, then others and their needs, and then ourselves. Okay, so let's end with our closing song. I've got J-O-Y joy, joy in the Holy Ghost. I've got J-O-Y joy, joy in the Holy Ghost. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Don't let the devil steal your joy because then your order will be off. Remember, Jesus says anyone who wants to be first must be the very last. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this lesson. Help us to serve others so that we can better serve you and better please you in all that we say and do. And as a result, you have told us that we will be first. But help us to be the leaders that you would have us to be, Lord, whether it's first in the middle or last. We know that you are the king, that you are coming soon again. And so these lessons are designed for us to be more like you. So help us, Father, to be more like you by serving others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in, and God bless you. Have a blessed Sabbath day.